Hello world! Today we'll understand the concept of advertisements in BLE. The dictionary meaning of the word advertisement is an announcement and that is precisely what a BLE device does in advertising mode. Verbal communication between humans involves speaking and listening. Similarly, advertisements allow the BLE devices to speak or announce their presence. It's like they're trying to introduce themselves. The listening part is referred to as scanning. BLE devices send advertisements for two reasons. First is to broadcast data without an overhead of full connection establishment. This is nothing but broadcaster role of BLE. An example of this would be a beacon, which say transmits location or weather details without any connections, which means that anyone can access this data. Or it could be to allow other BLE devices to find them and exchange data after establishing a connection. This is nothing but the peripheral and central role. So peripheral sends advertisements so that it gets discovered by a central. An example of this would be a fitness watch, which acts like a peripheral, and a phone, which acts like a central. So whether it is about requesting a long-term connection or broadcasting as an electronic beacon, it all starts with advertising. BLA uses 40 different RF channels in the 2.4 GHz ISM band. Out of these 40 channels, 37 are used for exchanging data after connection establishment. These are known as data channels. The remaining three channels are used exclusively for advertisements. These are called primary advertising channels. Now one may wonder, what is the reason for selecting these three frequencies specifically? So channels 37, 38 and 39 were carefully selected for advertisements as the activity of Wi-Fi is the least on these channels. Thus, there'll be minimal chances of interference with Wi-Fi, which exists on the same ISM band. Also, all three channels are placed at quite a few megahertz distance from each other. This is done to ensure that if there is any interference from other devices in one of the frequency ranges, then at least other frequency ranges are available for advertising. Also, the advertisement data is transmitted simultaneously on all three channels, which means there are higher chances of it reaching a destination. As the advertiser and the scanner are not synchronized in any way, an advertising packet will be received by the scanner only when they randomly overlap. Thus, in the advertising mode, the advertising device will keep on sending the packets periodically, which brings us to the advertising interval. Advertising interval is the duration between two advertising events. The interval has a fixed value plus a small random delay, usually of 0 to 10 milliseconds. As all the BLE devices advertise on the same three channels, thus a random delay ensures that multiple BLE peripherals don't get locked into a collusion loop. The advertising interval can range from 20 milliseconds to 10.24 seconds. The main radio is switched on only during the advertising event and the advertising packet is transmitted thrice as there are three advertising channels. Thus, a short advertising interval implies that more packets are broadcasted in a small duration. This increases the probability of the advertising packets being received by a scanner. But that would also mean that the radio will be on for a longer duration, which will ultimately lead to higher power consumption. So what should be the ideal value of the advertising interval? Usually, when the power is turned on, the user is expected to interact with the device. Thus, the rate can be set high initially. But if the device isn't receiving any connection requests over a period of time, then the interval can be increased. Also, the value depends on individual use cases. For example, if a door lock is advertising at a very slow rate, then it'll take longer for the peer device to connect to the lock, which would adversely affect the user experience. However, if it is a temperature sensor-based application powered by a battery, then it is okay to set the interval at a high value, as the temperature of a room doesn't change frequently. So according to you, which values would be the best for these two use cases? Comment down your answers. So that is it for today. Let's glance through the concepts that we learned today. We understood the meaning of advertisements in BLE. 
We also understood the purpose of advertisements and found out about the channels that are used for advertisements. We also understood the reason behind the selection of these three channels. Finally, we learned about advertising interval and realized that how its value varies with different use cases. In the next part, we'll cover scanning and different advertisement types in BLE. Wait, we aren't done yet. I did my part. Now please hit the subscribe button and like and share the video. Oh, and don't forget to check the description. You'll find a link to a playlist which covers all the videos related to Bluetooth Low Energy. There's a lot of information in these videos, so do check them out as well. So yeah, this is it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye world!